Demolition crews in Parkland, Florida have begun tearing down a building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. 14 students and three faculty members were killed on Valentine's Day in 2018. The gunman was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Until now, nothing could be done to the building because it was being used as evidence in the murder trial. Now there are mixed feelings in the community about what to do with the space. Joining me now is Lori Alhadef, whose 14-year-old daughter was killed at Parkland. She is now the chair of the Broward County School Board. Lori, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on this day. Um, you were there to watch tw the 1200 building be demolished. Your 14-year-old daughter was murdered in that building. Uh, tell me, what did you feel in your heart when you saw this happening? Yesterday was very painful knowing that the place where my daughter Alyssa was murdered shot eight times in her English classroom. But I know that it's necessary for that building to come down. And yesterday with the crane taking chunks out of the building is the step for this process for the building to come down to happen. I, I read that you said that this is part of the healing process. How so? So it's really been a roller coaster of pain. Six years ago, Alyssa was murdered in that building. And every step of the way is a part of my healing process for me and my family. Yeah. And for that building to come down and then for there to be a space, a usable space for students to remember the legacy of the 17 that were murdered on Valentine's Day. What will be put in its place? I understand the Broward County School Board hasn't decided yet on what will happen. So we're in, still in conversations with the staff and the 17 families, but we're thinking about an MSD 17 legacy field where it could be a usable space for the band, JROTC, or students, PE students to go there to, to do their activities and then also a teachable space, but to have the 17 very uh, focused there and to honor them and you know for, for forever to keep their legacy alive so we never forget what happened on that horrific day six years ago. Alyssa left behind you, she left behind her father, two younger brothers who, who go to the school. They've had to walk by this 1200 building. How are your sons doing? Um, what has the last few years been like? And also, uh, you know, knowing that this building is being demolished. So it's very painful for them, but we know that the, with the building being demolished, that it's one more step in their healing process. And they've gotten a golden doodle dog, which has helped them. And we just want to keep Alyssa's memory alive, honor Alyssa, live for Alyssa. Uh, before I let you go, I do want to mention that you founded that nonprofit Maker School Safe, which is uh, promotes school safety. Uh, I do want to ask you, um, you know, as a mother, what do you think about um, when you think and remember your beautiful daughter, Alyssa? So I just remember her laugh, her smile, her zest for life. And we just love Alyssa so much. And now I'm Alyssa's voice with Make Our School Safe. Lori Alhadef, we really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.